Hello Aries, hello my fire family. Just thought I would drop in and give you a bonus read. I just wanted to say thank you for all of the uh, clicks and views and the thumbs up that you provided to this uh, community uh, last week. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate you. I will connect that reading at the end of this reel if you haven't seen it yet. But if you are brand brand new and you've never been here before, I do bonus reads and every time any of the signs comes or even gets close to a thousand clicks, I'm ready to do a bonus read. That tells me you're offering me your energy and I'm going to offer it back. That's how this energetic business works, right? When you offer the energy, then I have the energy to offer back. Thank you so much for all that you do for this um, channel and for this community. All right, let's find out what's going on for you. Aries, when I do these bonus reads, um, I uh, do not date or time them. You'll know that if you've seen a bonus read from me before. And uh, it is going to be for the current energy or the future. I do not intend to read for the past. This is not a past energy read. So whether you find this today, tomorrow, or next year, it could apply. It is a general reading after all. Thank you so much for clicking here. If you are my ride or die and you're always doing that, thanks so much for doing that. Here we go. Let's talk about Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What's coming up for Aries, please? Tell me what's coming up for Aries in this bonus read. We have the Ace. Uh, sorry, not the Ace, but the Page of Swords. I don't know why I always see this one as the Ace. Maybe it's because the the sword that's in the air here. But we do have the Page of Swords. It feels like somebody is learning something. So you could be in school, maybe having some sort of a realization about something that you've learned and how to apply it in your life. But this is the one that is um, the student, right? I'm ready to learn whatever the universe is ready to give me. We've got the Seven of Pentacles here. I feel like you're learning about nurturing the self, about your path, about your plan, and how you're going to grow things uh, uh, on um, uh on this path, I want to say. The the Seven of Pentacles, it's like somebody is, is wondering, is it really even worth the work? Like, this is a lot of hard work. Should I bother doing it? I think that the Page of Swords tells me that you've come to a realization that you're on the right path, that you are working really hard. Um, the Seven of Pentacles, I love this depiction because this person here you can see has, uh, you know, those those sunflowers are staring you in the face, which means that the sun is on the sunflowers. I want to say that the sun is on your face, my friend, that it's time for growth. Um, sunflowers always face the sun. No matter where it is, it will follow it in the sky, right? From one side to the other, from when it rises to when it sets. And uh, I feel like you're realizing that the work that you put in on either the self or something else in your pentacle world has been worth it. It feels like this is the realization of the Page of Swords. We do have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, it's a realization that if I work really hard, I can drop whatever burdens I need to. I feel like I want to say time to leave your burdens at the door. You can see the doors behind her. There's a lot of stairs between her and the door. Just leave them there. I'm just going to say it's time for you to lighten the load. Um, and I think you are lightening the load because of something you've learned here. And what you've learned is that, you know what, although it was an arduous journey and the, and the nurturing part of it was really hard because, you know, this is one person on this card, right? There is no help here. You did it all by yourself, I feel. Um, and it's time to it's time to reap the rewards of whatever it is that's been growing. Tell me more about Aries. Yeah, you've come to an, oh, you've got an answer here, Aries. That's what it is. Charlie just said there's an answer about the, about the Ten of Wands. You've dug up some information and it's like you were wanting to put down these wands all along, but now you have a reason to because something makes sense, right? We're talking about, um, we're talking about uh, swords energy. It has to be factual, honest communication, truthful, transparent. It's like you now have your answer to something um, that had been growing and it's time to put down these time to put down these wands here. We have the nine of cups, we have the five of wands and we have the queen of Pentacles Empress is in the, in the distance here. I think what your realization is or what you have learned my friend is that you've earned your happiness you've already earned it it's like you you decided to do the hard work in the pentacle world and you you did what you should do 
you picked a path, you took the seeds of intention, you threw them, and then, you, you know, that's what you do. You throw the seeds of intention, you pick the path, you pick the path, and then you started working on it, nurturing the self, working on you, working in your pentacle world. And I think what it's brought you is to a realization of the nine of cups, that if you're open to change, if you're open to love, if you're open, like her arms are you know, with arms wide open, right? She's ready to accept whatever will come, whatever the Nine of Cups is, whatever the wish fulfillment is, that you're ready to accept it because now you have some sort of a knowledge that you never really had to carry around these Ten Wands. It feels like you were stuck. The Five of Wands is a place that can stop you from moving forward. It's, it's the internal battle. It's the argument you have with yourself. Am I worth it? Do I have enough worth? Am I worth it to move forward? Um, are these pentacles ever going to grow to give me stability? And the answer is yes. I feel like it, it happens without you even having to work that hard. Once you get to the seven and you realize that you're there and all the hard work is finally behind you because the seven of pentacles is in the, in the past, I feel like you then realize that all the initial hard work is done and now all you got to do is receive. A lot of people will manifest, right? We're all manifesting what we want. But are you really ready to receive? Are you the Nine of Cups? Because you can't receive the Nine of Cups if you aren't the Nine of Cups. Are you happy? Are you emotionally happy? Are you ready for whatever's about to change in order to bring you whatever it is that you want? So it feels like you are the person that I'm reading for. I feel like you were stuck in this Ten of Wands for a while, carrying around some burdens. I want to say my intuitive psychic intuition is telling me that you were carrying around these burdens because you didn't want to um um you didn't want to upset anybody like it feels like you didn't want to tell somebody look this is heavy i gotta put it down i feel like you you didn't want to upset someone you were carrying around their burdens but i feel like the clarity that comes with being the queen of pentacles whether you're feminine or masculine right we're not reading body parts here i don't care if you're a man or a woman what i care is where your energy lies are you masculine leaning or feminine leaning this particular one is feminine leaning but also is masculine energy and that's why it can be you whether you are man or woman feminine feminine or masculine, right? So um, what I feel is like this 10 of wands you were carrying around for someone else, I feel, was blocking you from your abundance. But I feel like you do come to this place from the seven of pentacles with a realization that you're worth it. You have a lot of worth and you're worth it to be happy. There's an empress in the distance here with the king of cups. I feel like you have feelings for an empress. Um, whether you are feminine or masculine, the empress is feminine leading, but also has masculine energy. We have the king of cups. Who, sh who portrays as a man, right? We do have the King of Cups who is masculine leaning, but also has feminine energy. So take it as it resonates for you, but I feel like you have some really deep feelings for the Empress, and it feels like the... Um, the Temperance card is telling me the moment of alchemy is coming here. I feel like you're about to race off and tell this person you've made a decision. You've made a decision. Your intuitive psychicness has told you whether you get your heart broken or not, it's time to go. So I feel like you're making a huge decision to make an impulsive um, an impulsive move to go talk to somebody here. I think it's the Empress. Um, and when the major arcanas are around, you don't have a choice in that, my friend. It's showing up. All you got to do is learn how to either be okay with it, <laughs> respond or react, right? All right. Tell me what else I need to know about Aries, please. What is this... Um, what is this page of swords energy, please? Tell me what this moment of realization is. You've learned something. You've learned a lesson. I love it. Look, when the student, when the teacher is ready, the student appears. And I feel that you were ready to learn a lesson here. And I feel like the lesson you learned was how to be solid and sturdy and grounded. How to... Um, that the fact is that you're a leader. You're a leader, Aries, and you are the ultimate leader. And people are going to follow you no matter what you do. But I feel like you felt that instead of leading these people astray that are going to follow you, that you're going to learn the lessons and you're going to pay attention to the higher self. You're going to move slowly and sturdily and you're going to teach people what you know. It feels like you are some kind of a, I want to call you a guru because that. The King of Swords just showed up. You're a person who speaks the truth and people respect you for it. Like the Hierophant is someone who is respected in their community, right? They could be clergy. Maybe this is the spiritual leader. Whatever it is, it feels like 
people follow this person and you want to make sure that your game is on point. You're like, if people are going to follow me, I can't let them down. And so I feel like you you become clear that, that you must check in with the higher self in order to be a spiritual leader. It feels like somebody here has decided or taken the path of leading people, but allowing them to follow you by learning what you need to learn about the higher self. And um, you are someone who's always going to be honest, truthful, noble, and someone who is always going to be transparent. And so I feel like yeah, the Eight of Cups tells me that you can no longer settle. You can't settle. If people are going to follow you and see you as the esteemed leader, that you can no longer settle. You have to live what you are um, what you are preaching, right? Mother Teresa was really was really big on that. Um, I remember reading an article where someone said they brought their child to Mother Teresa and, and said, please tell my child it's not good for them to eat sugar. And Mother Teresa said, well, then bring them back in two weeks because first I must stop eating sugar in order to teach someone else that they should not be eating sugar. So I feel that, that that's kind of the energy that you're in. Um, and it feels like yeah, you're moving away from anything else that is not serving you here. It feels like you've learned a lesson. And I see the Six of Swords as a lesson learned. And the reason that you can move on from wherever you were that was kind of chaotic is because you've learned the lesson. Therefore, you get the balance, which is Libra energy, right? Which is going to a place where it's no longer, it's no longer hard. It's more flowing, I want to say. So you get your stability here, my friend, and I feel like this Five of Wands was attached to the Ten of Swords. It feels like this Five of Wands being attached to the Ten of Swords was like tripping you up, I want to say, that you were dragging around so much that it became heavy. Tell me what you were dragging around here. Things were moving too fast. It feels like you are... Um, even though you are in fire, you could be someone who has earth energy or maybe some Scorpio energy, maybe a fixed energy, right? Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, that you prefer to move slowly at a goal. I want to say that after a long while of being stuck here behind this five of wands with indecision, feeling like there's too much competition, I don't want to poke my head up and put my hat in the ring, I feel like you drop the ten of wands and it brings you to the page. The page is a renewed energy of vivaciousness and, and uh, feeling like you have the energy of a teenager and it feels like that's what propels you forward to making this big milestone change in your life. I feel like things come full circle and you realize that you are the leader. You're the one that people are going to follow anyway and you've decided to be responsible with that energy by closing chapters of moving too quickly. I want to say that you've had some sort of a realization or a moment of clarity that's brought you to this this monumental change that that has come here and that is that you must move slower that although even that you're in fire that maybe look through your chart you probably have some something that moves really slow like a fixed sign or um, earth maybe but it's time to move a little slower and and what's coming to an end is making um, split decisions, split second decisions, taking risks that aren't aren't necessarily good for you here. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this tells me here that you you start to thrive. That once you drop the burdens and realize that there is this new path that you can follow at any time that you want, once you close the door on moving quickly, I feel like you move into this earth energy. And that's why I'm saying that maybe you either have some fixed energy or some earth energy. We have uh, the Knight of Wands. We have the Four of Swords. Yeah, it feels like this is what you've healed here. Acting impulsive. And I, I feel like Although you have fire energy, and it could be a lot, I feel like you're now paying attention to, you know, people can get hurt. When you make decisions that are too quickly and you jump in without thinking about it, jumping in with your passion, people can get hurt. And I feel like that's the lesson learned. The realization, she's holding on to the Ace of Swords. It's the realization and the clarity that you needed here. That the Knight of Wands is, is probably a way, you know, to get what you want quickly. But in order to get what you really want that has staying power, you have to do in the Four of Wands, which is more balanced, um, more solid. It's balanced mental health, right? This is what's in the mind. So it's more of a balanced mental health. And I feel like that's what pushes you forward here. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is all 
all the beautiful abundant things that are coming to you and none of least is the is the queen of pentacles i feel like feminine or masculine that you harness this energy of being solid and grounded and slow moving and looking over details and being solid and dependable and looking at things in more of a a pentacle way rather than more of a fiery way we, these are all the fixed signs right we have both cards that is all the fixed signs and fixed signs move slow and they can be accused of being stubborn and not wanting to change their minds but if you offer them an argument that can change their mind they definitely will move forward um, so I feel like the wheel of fortune is telling me that your mental health is on point it's stable you're doing good and moving forward is a, a more abundant time abundance for, with money i feel and possibly abundance in love we do have the lovers and i feel like after some sort of a really hard cycle you've been in i feel like if you are someone who's feeling betrayed because of a relationship that went down really bad back there i feel like you're going to be rewarded by an even deeper more loving connection with someone who's been chosen for you and i think you will choose them i feel like there's your energy right the emperor i feel has gone through a really hard time or maybe you're about to go through it um but it feels like there is some sort of a really hard cycle that's about to end for you and it's going to feel like a betrayal to somebody or to you take it as it resonates but i feel like what's on the other side of all this pain and anguish is the lovers and it's because you are the alchemist you take the pain and you turn it into something like love i kind of love that for you bottom of the deck of course we have the four of cups we have the strength card and we have um we have the six of wands it does feel like there is somebody in the future who i feel uh, maybe somebody who has offered you some a cup in the past maybe but i feel like this person is in your future i feel like you're thinking you've missed some sort of an opportunity here because you held back but i feel like the six of wands is telling me you're about to get victory in that if you want it it's yours you just gotta want to charge and get it <laughs> that's all it is the, the queen would have nothing less the queen would have nothing less than that going after uh, potentially the things that they want We've got Chariot Energy here, which is Cancer. We've got Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. We've got your energy here, which is Aries. Um, we've got Taurus Energy here as well. Um, we've got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius Energy. And um, yeah, I think we'll just leave it there. Thank you so much for being here and for watching, Aries. I'm going to go for now. Looks like some great things are coming up for you. Bye-bye. <laughs>